As you saw in a previous video, dbscan is a clustering technique used to cluster data points. As a quick review, it works by choosing a random data point and having that point broadcast out a signal to anyone within a certain distance. Any data point that can be reached by that signal will be added to the cluster. From there, the newly added data points broadcast out their own signals and attempt to add more data points to the cluster. Because of this chaining technique, the cluster is capable of growing into any shape, which brings me to the advantages of using dbscan, the first of which is the ability to model any shape. Many algorithms such as k-means cannot model all patterns. dbscan does not suffer from this issue. Second, dbscan does not require a predefined number of clusters. The number of clusters will be discovered automatically as the algorithm runs. Third, dbscan is unaffected by outliers. Because dbscan works through a distance parameter, a data point is either within that distance or it is not. Fourth, there are only two parameters to tune, making it easy to work with. And finally, it is super easy to implement using libraries such as sklearn. Disadvantages. Theoretically, dbscan is non-deterministic. This means the algorithm can produce different results if run multiple times with the same data. This isn't particularly common, but it is possible if the right set of scenarios occur. Second, dbscan does not handle differing cluster densities well. In this image, I've created two clusters, a green cluster and a blue cluster. You can see, however, the green cluster is much more dense than the blue cluster. Nonetheless, this is what I would deem inappropriate clustering. The problem is, this may be hard to achieve. This is because the green points would require a small epsilon, but the blue points would require a large epsilon. If epsilon was sufficiently large enough to cluster the spread out points, it may occur that all points get grouped together. However, if epsilon is smaller, we may end up with many single data point clusters like this. The final drawback of dbscan is that it does not work well in high dimensions. Because of what is called the curse of dimensionality, in high dimensions, the distance between two data points will become very close to the distance of any other two data points. This means the distance becomes less useful in higher dimensions, and dbscan will suffer because of it.